Hey, what is up everyone? Norman from Future Student University here. And welcome to another video in our Android Studio plugin series. Now last week I showed you the Key Promoter X plugin, which allows you to dynamically learn keyboard shortcuts as you go. This week I'm going to show you a plugin which allows you to automatically generate model Java classes from an input JSON. Let's get into it. So what we have here is an example response JSON from the FutureFlix API. If you want to know more about FutureFlix, I will leave a link in the description below. Marcus has a great series on how to build a full web um, project and API with Happy. Anyway, let's go back to the Android topic. So if you see this giant JSON in your task as the Android developer is to build model classes for it so you can do automatically or automatically map from the JSON to Java, um, for example, with JSON. You would have to put a ton of work into setting the models up right. Uh, you know, the fields need to have the right names, the types need to be right. It's a very delicate process and it's easy to make mistakes. So as a computer scientist, you want to automate this. And a great way to do that is with a Android Studio plugin called DTO Generator. So let's take a look. Again, you can go via the plugins menu, and I don't have it installed right now, so let's go to repositories and look for, there it is, and just install it. Okay, so here we are after a quick 10 minute restart of the IDE. Um, so let me show you how to use a plugin. So if you have a giant JSON like that, um, you need to create the base class for it manually. So here we see um, one specific TV show and we want to create the model um, for the parent object and also all the, um, the subclasses here, for example, IDs, images, um, else, etc. So I've created an empty TV show class and now we can open um, the DTO generator. You can use the find action shortcut, again, something I will link below um, to open the menu. And there's DTO from JSON. And you'll see a pretty plain view. Um, and what I'm going to do is just going to copy in the entire JSON. So you have one example JSON and the plugin will automatically create all the model classes from it. You can make sure it actually is a valid JSON, um, it is. So what we can do now is in the settings, we can configure how we want um, the, how the, the model should be generated. Should it be a single class? Should it be um, separate files for each object? Um, to keep it simple, I'm gonna say a, uh, a single class. We like to use JSON. We also have a great series on it. Um, we use the expose or expose um, annotation. We're going to make the field privates. Um, we want getters and setters. I'm not a fan of any of that. So let's go back to this and click generate. And after 15 seconds or so, you have a giant um, class. And everything is configured as you can see here. You have all the properties, um, but we also have the um, the subclasses, for example, the images remember, was like its own class or its own model um, with two strings. Um, the DTO generator takes care of everything. Um, it's really, really um, great because it saves you a ton of time, a ton of manual work. So I would definitely recommend anyone who has to deal with mapping from JSON to Java models um, to check this plugin out. Um, it saved me hours of work. So that's it for this video. So if you learned something, give this video a like, subscribe for more videos on Android Studio plugins, enjoy coding and make it work.